Good evening, everybody. Would you please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank Airman First Class Derek Maggart for leading us in the pledge this evening. Derek is a brother of graduating senior Miranda Maggart. What makes this so special is that Derek was able to arrive from Osan Air Base in South Korea in time for his sister's graduation ceremony. Miranda, for the last four weeks, I've known your brother is going to come. It's been the hardest thing for me not to tell you. I was going to tell you to feel free to come on up to give him a hug, but you beat me to it. Thank you, sir. For one Randall High School senior, this evening's graduation was more than just a ceremony. It was an unexpected family reunion. News Channel 10's Shannon Smith is live at the studio with more on how this plan was put into action. Reese Cryer hadn't seen his older brother Travis Fannin since September when he was deployed to Kuwait with the U.S. Marine Corps. So you can imagine how surprised he was to see Fannin standing on the stage at Randall High's graduation holding his diploma. Our next graduate is being presented his diploma by his brother, Lance Corporal Travis Fannin of the Marine Corps of 2000. Fannin found out Wednesday morning that he'd been granted leave to come see his little brother graduate from Randall High School. The boy's mom reached out to Randall High's principal to see if the school could make the day special for the brothers. Of course, I mean, why not? I mean, let's, let's do this and let's do it right. So graduation's already pretty special, but to have your brother come in from Kuwait and give you your diploma, you know, that's just going to blow it off the top. I mean, it's going to be pretty cool. Williams snuck Fannin on stage during the ceremony, and the whole time, Cryer had no idea what was planned for him. I like, I like surprising people. It brings just a smile to their face, and everyone's happy. I hope he doesn't cry. But he's, he's a strong boy. Yeah, he'll do good. Fannin did not get his wish. His little brother cried, and the reunion was emotional and exciting for the whole family. Cryer ran to hug his brother as the audience cheered. He says he was shocked, surprised, and so happy to see Fannin after all this time. Glad to be home with my brother. That's all I can say. Congratulations, brother. Thank you. Congratulations to Reese and the entire class of 2016, and thank you, Lance Corporal, for your service. Reporting live in the studio, Shannon Smith, News. No.
Yes, it is. Yes, it is. There he is. Woo! <laughs> He's such a nerd. <laughs> Can you watch them?
Patrick. Son of a gun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I thought you were going to hurt. When did you get home? Let's go home to you go. I knew he was coming home. I bought the plane ticket. <laughs> and he got me. There you go. Oh my god. I want to show, show Hannah what I got. We ready to go in? Let's go in. I got to turn off the light. <laughs> Hi, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got Minecraft stuff in the car. <laughs> oh, you're out. You're out. Can yep. I have my sword? Can I? A father home from the war surprises his little girl at school. And only we were there to capture the moment that she set, uh, that sh the moment she uh, set her eyes on her father. And so Stephanie Stone is live with the story for us tonight. Staff? There was not a dry eye in the fifth grade classroom here at Cheviot Elementary. And let me tell you guys, this was a pretty special event. It took a lot of top secret kind of planning. <laughs> It's all right. It's okay. I'm home now. For 11-year-old Kayla Proctor, it was class as usual until her dad walked in the room in uniform. Yes. It's been 18 months since he left for Afghanistan. I wanted to do something special for her, you know, uh, and actually let her see me here in my uniform and stuff. And I think it's a big morale booster for her and also her classmates, too. They've kept up on Facebook, but this past year hasn't been easy for Kayla. I feel um, really happy because me and my other sister in Bowling Green have been missing him, and I'm kind of a shock now. Before she got the surprise of her life, any other? The Cheviot Elementary fifth graders were learning citizenship. Little did Kayla know her principal, teachers, and support staff were planning down to every last detail, like bringing dad around the back of the school and up a back stairway. Yeah, that's really special. And it's special for dad, too. This surprise kicked off his retirement after 19 years in the Army. It's all worth it, you know, once you get here. And here's the best part about Kayla's dad. Since he's retiring, that means he's not going back. So he plans to spend the next year of his life transitioning back into civilian and, well, his daughter's life. We're live in Chevy at Stephanie Stone, News 5. It's amazing. They're amazing. And tomorrow they perform at the Nebo competition. We've just seen this cauldron make a witch appear as the band played her favorite malevolent theme. It's a magical cauldron. Let's see what happens when the band plays a different song. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for playing of the official song of the United States Army. The Army goes rolling along.
Yeah. <laughs> 